Hello there, Internet, or not the Internet, toward the max extreme here. Dinosaur Neil. And Ghost Hunter Dave. And together, we write formal letters to each other as Imperious Rex. Right, deliver them by snail mail. Ooh, That's right. Ooh, That's USPS. Right. <laughs> Reminds me, I gotta get stamps. <laughs> so, I thought it would, might be fun if we all started the show in like some really wacky masquerade masks. Mm -hmm. And then unveiled our true identities right at the beginning. Yep. But, I didn't want to dig them out. We got Private Eye right now, a uh, one of its kind, at least at the beginning, until there were more shortly after. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> but this was a digital first comic mm -hmm. created by Brian K. Vaughn, Marcos Martin, yes. and colored by Monsta Vicente. Published in 2013 <laughs> on Panel Syndicate. Mm -hmm. Yes. An online distributing center where readers could pay whatever they wanted mm -hmm. to download issue by mm -hmm. issue or collection by collection. Yeah. And this was something that BKV and Marcos, I believe, created for, for this. Yeah, this was like the first thing of this kind. And since yeah. then, there's been a couple more kind of high-end creators that went to it. But I have no idea if this thing pays anything, if they're making any money off. Oh, I have no idea either. I haven't really followed up. Get a couple I... generous backers, maybe, <clears throat> but, like, yeah. who knows? I have no idea. Not sure. Eventually, uh, it was printed in hardcover format by Image. Yes. So they retained all the rights, obviously. They put this nice uh, widescreen format, which are a pain in the ass to read, I might they say. They really are, <laughs> yeah. but... It's digitally, it's not bad. No, <laughs> but <laughs> it is definitely formatted for your screen. Yes. <laughs> and the fun, if you don't know anything about the story, too, it's... Uh, Set it up. Okay, I will Set, set the up. stage. So, the stage is this. In the year 2076. <laughs> no, 2076. God. I didn't think you'd know the year, so I've, I've given you a... a, a I would have ballparked it. it. All right. <laughs> it was good. And go. Uh, the cloud, the information cloud has burst... And now we're living in a world where the internet does not exist. Everything is physical once again. Mm -hmm. And what the meta idea is here that Marcos Martin said, like, you know, Brian, we should put this book ironically out as a web exclusive. And Brian K. Vaughn was like, yes. Even though I hate everything about the internet, uh -huh. I love this idea. And so that's where this idea was born. Where are we going to find a web big enough, Marcos? <laughs> <laughs> and so this came out as a like web exclusive comic. Obviously it's been printed off several times. So in the future, privacy is top of everybody's priority list. That's right. All of the private information that everyone has been storing online is now out in the open lives have been ruined yes mm -hmm. so now everybody when they're in a public place wears a very gaudy goofy halloween mask yeah. everywhere they go <laughs> yeah which like to me that is essentially like an online avatar yes that's yep. exactly that's it. why they're so fucking goofy looking right mm -hmm. and elaborate yeah so yeah i'm like okay that's fun it's just like having an online persona now, mm -hmm. but you just make it public. You get to go out as who you feel. Like, nobody's judging yeah. for what this is right now. Everyone's living their best life out in the open, however they want to look. But what are they doing? But I, I don't know. <laughs> Getting coffee. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I guess, I, I, like, I'm not sure, like, what they're really hiding. It's just they're expressing themselves as they would on the internet that, nowadays. Mm -hmm. That, and I think it's more of, like, a fear or superstition that something is going to leak again. Yeah. Because, like, when they mention the cloud burst, it's like, have you been to AshleyMadison.com? It's, <laughs> it's like, they were meant, they mentioned, it's like, it's not all, it's it's the search history that got everybody. Yeah. yeah it so, yeah. and boy, oh boy, don't look through any of mine. <laughs> you know, like, uh, but that, that cloud was busting all over the place. <laughs> busting makes you feel good. <laughs> but like that was the point in it which everybody's lives were ruined. It was their search history. It was things like that. So people just go out trying to be as anonymous as possible. Which mm -hmm. is interesting because also in this uh, 
futuristic universe, the cops have been replaced by reporters. Mm -hmm. So there is no police force. They're just like the news. Yeah. So yeah. everybody wants everyone's business. They're mm -hmm. just like soaking up secrets. Yes. Because, you know, it's not all readily available now. So like tabloid journalism is the drug of choice. Right. Yeah. There is a point where they're like, oh God, they're here. The dreaded CNN. <laughs> like it was yeah. just incredible. <laughs> What's fun in this is that there is a older character that would be our generation yes. in this. That he's, they, he's the main character's grandfather. Yes. Yeah. Who gives kind of like his perspective on like what our generation would say. Like, we had nothing to hide. Like, we're just letting it out there. And then they put a spin on that. It's like, you had nothing to hide until you did. Yeah. <laughs> and you just fucking broadcast everything. Why does anyone think that everyone wants to know what they're doing at any moment in time? Like, yeah. why do you think you're so important that you have to share yes. all your shit? Yes. Um, and he's constantly like, why isn't the Wi-Fi working? You know, he's yeah. kind of senile, but at the same time, he's like, Grandpa, there's no, there's no Wi-Fi. You're imagining yeah. it. There's no Wi-Fi anymore. Yeah. And yeah. The, I love the old man. He's just covered in tats, like just sleeve tats. He looks just like, you know, if we grew up. I, I don't know why, but he reminds me of your cousin... Paul? Paul. Yeah. <laughs> to a T if he was 70. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I do. Hard to believe. Hard to believe. I'll sell you an age yet right now. I'll say, tell you what, got a card. It's my only one, so I'll keep it. But is that on the, you got that on camera? Got the, hang on to that number. I'll sell you a good, uh, a good package deal. Speaking of package, rock hard. Rock hard. Flick it. Uh, he killed her. He killed her. Who? Yeah, from Murder crazy. Party. Yeah. 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 I love that aspect. That it's like, oh, this is a millennial at 80 plus. Yeah. Or whatever. I'm like, that's us! I can't wait! It feels seen. Yeah. It seems pretty damn cool. Yeah. yeah. I just but he's always asking for a screen. He's like a little kid that wants to play on your mom's tablet. Yeah. He's like, Where, where's the phone? He's like, there's no phones. Like, yeah. yeah. I just love that because it, it kind of shows like what a projected thing would look like when we get that old. Like you think of all the people like who are our grandparents being like, what is a smartphone? I don't know how to do this. But it's like us at that point. Like, yeah. it's where, like, where now like the current yeah. period are more like our grandparents where they're like, what's this fucking, what do you need this phone for? Like, yeah. I don't know how to use this. Here, yeah. you show me how to do it. Yeah. Which at a, a certain point they do have to get some relics. This yeah. old technology, and no one knows how to work it, and they have yeah. to go to the grandfather. Like, how do you, how do you fucking turn this thing on? Yeah, I got like, a charger in this junk drawer. Yeah, yeah. It's like, how do I get this email? He's like, that's an iPod. You can't get yeah. email on it. Yeah. You know? And you know what? Another reason I may like this book so much is that lately I've been wanting to pull away from the internet, and this makes me feel. A bit at home, it's like, I don't need that shit. I'm gonna do everything very tactile and physically, <laughs> and maybe that makes me feel comfortable. Make you sure to I mean? tweet your gardening videos. Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> right, keep up the speed. We've kind of set the stage. What mm -hmm. is the main story of this then? It follows the private eye, yeah, mm -hmm. the titular private eye known as PI, yeah, mm -hmm. and he is hired. Uh, basically just like to your normal like Chinatown style yeah. cases like mm -hmm. take photos of cheating wives and shit like that yep. uh, one of them was it, it, your first exposure to him he's photographing this beautiful woman coming into her penthouse apartment and she takes off like her mask and she's a very ordinary looking woman right and he's snapping the picture he's like gotcha you know <laughs> yeah. yeah but then he gets involved in a murder case and uh ends up kind of working with the sister of the murdered woman mm -hmm. trying to uncover like what did she die for what was she involved in what's gonna happen yeah. to the world yeah and gets into this big plot where the evil organization the evil agent wants to restart the internet yes and that is the dastardly plan <laughs> yeah. that he's trying to stop yeah which is like okay that's and they're saying like no we can't we can't bring back the internet can you imagine what would happen if something like that <laughs> occurred <laughs> what a travesty yeah. yeah my my uh love for this also comes from like bkv is very like very reserved for doing stuff online you found that out 
Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> we first, have a BKB story <laughs> first hand. from the early days of the, of the show. <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, the point where he like tries to craft a world in which like the internet now does not exist, and now other uh, career paths like librarians now yeah. are high up in the echelon of like super high end jobs where privacy is their most sacred thing to be possessed. And so librarians are there to keep secrets, pretty much, of mm -hmm. people's search history, because now everything is physical media. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, if you go want to go rent Mein Kampf yeah. from <laughs> the fucking library, nobody will find out unless they can sneak their way into a librarian's house of graces. <laughs> yeah, 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 and try to, like, bribe them or whatever. Yes. Yeah. It, it's a, it, I think it's an, a, a super fun idea. To go mm -hmm. not so far into the future, mm -hmm. but retroactively... A couple generations. Yeah. yeah, a couple generations in the future, but also, like, bring in a couple generations back into yeah. the future and, like, have it go full circle again. I think it's kind of a, a fun idea. Yeah, it's a great way to do satire, where, like, it's literally holding the mirror up to us <laughs> and saying, like, look at what you're fucking doing. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, it's like, but also, like, imagine if we didn't have it, like... Is this better? You know, I don't like. Know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's for you to decide. But it's just like, what a weird thought experiment. Mm -hmm. yeah. To the point where, like, I think the best parts of this are in the details. Mm -hmm. All these little things that I feel like he kind of thought these up and then based the story around. Mm -hmm. uh, where, I mean, there's so many throwaway things like the Schwarzenegger General Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like those make the book. You know, and there's a ton of them. I can't even think of any more at the moment. The the giant dam that's holding back the ocean from, from global flooding. warming. Yeah, from yeah. flooding California is called the Wonder Wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just all yeah. these little pop culture references in there that, like, the characters in the moment have no idea what this means. But like to right. us, they're like, oh yeah, Wonder Wall. <laughs> yeah. a big, that's a big song. That's yeah. a big yeah. deal. Yeah. 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 You know, how about the character of Pi? We haven't talked at all about him, but. Uh, Great dresser. Fucking loved his shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, I just love how cryptic he is. Like, yeah. how secretive he is. Good stuff. I also liked how almost every character in this looked like a mixed race. Yeah. Like, yeah. He himself looked like black and Asian. Yep. Yeah. I thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And almost every character in it looked of Asian descent. Yeah. I'm like, interesting. Yeah. Even when he's being pursued, like, over the press intercom, yeah. they're like, uh, it's a person, like, about, I don't know, six feet tall, mixed race, da 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 Probably hard to track down, especially with a dream coat on. Oh, yeah. I love the fucking dream coat with the face on the back that's like a ha-ha, fuck you, now you can't see me type shit. I yeah. assumed it was a Cheshire cat. That's, yeah, Because a great. Cheshire cat can turn invisible. Yeah. I never put that together <laughs> until you just said it. I, it took me a long time to get it, and then I was like, <laughs> that was staring me in the fucking face. It's a Cheshire cat grin. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. awesome. <laughs> That's incredible. But they don't ever, like, call attention to it or anything. No, I was no, like, no. oh, that's a good little detail no. there. And I, I think I was looking at the back matter, and uh, the artist, Marcos Martin, came up with that. Oh, sweet deal. Which, reading the back matter, it seemed like Martin came up with a fucking lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, holy shit, maybe he should get top billing on this yeah. thing. I want to talk about that real quick, because I loved the art. In yeah, this. the artist is stellar. It's so good. It's dynamite. It's yeah. so stylistic, so unique. The colors are chef's kiss yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. That is why I mentioned the colorist. And it's our fault we don't always mention everyone on the creative team on books when we're reviewing them. But I thought, like, the colors in this fucking make the book. Mm -hmm. So oh, I yeah. did want to make sure we mm -hmm. called him out. And apologies to all the other <laughs> people that we don't call out when we yeah. just say, like, the artist and the, the author. But... Man, they are great in this. Yeah. Top notch. Dream team. I mean, that is a testament to how much an artist can bring to a book. Because, oh, yeah. as I mentioned in the back matter, it gives a lot of insight into how they created this. And Brian K. Vaughn, love him. You know, he's one of my favorite authors. But I feel like a ton of this was carried by Martin in terms of, like, the character designs and everything. Like, everything that you take away from this book was like a visual thing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it fell in his lap. Yeah. So what did you think as this all kind of reaches its conclusion? Where uh, P.I. and the sister of the deceased woman, I have a hard time with their names because I read it like a week ago, 
they finally track down the the bad guy. Yeah. And spoilers, they accidentally launch the missile that's going to create a satellite in space into the Wonder Wall and flood <laughs> basically like Los Angeles. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, P.I. seemingly dies in mm -hmm. the flood, and the woman who's been helping him kind of takes over. Mm -hmm. Where I feel like, oh, I would like more of this. Like, I don't so much care about the characters as I want to see more of the universe that he's created. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like there's so much more you could explore with this. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I love the characters in this, but I also want to live in this a little bit longer. I mm -hmm. also love, like, the very last panel of this. Like, the book is called Private uh, Eye. They find a bit of the dream boom, coat, boom. and, and <laughs> yeah. she puts it on, and the only thing you can see is her one eye, and she her whole head is invisible. Yeah, like, yeah. That's a great fucking last panel. Yeah. Yes. It's amazing. I mean, it's no big secret. Like, the book tells you right off the bat, like, the big Lex Luthor X villain who's, like, controlling all... TV, yeah, might as well be Mike TV from Willy Wonka. For all I know, <laughs> yeah. is the big bad who is secretly putting like cameras in everybody's televisions. Yes, because mm -hmm. he wants to interconnect the world. Yeah, he yeah. wants to do it again. You know, uh, I I enjoyed a lot of those. Like the the one scene in where one of the engineers of his company is like, I don't know if anybody else noticed. I noticed this. There's been secret, like, cameras put on these? Did you tell anybody else about this? No. I'm the only one. Thought I should tell you first. Great. <gasps> Boom! <laughs> You're dead. Yeah. Yeah. You're dead. Yeah. I, it's been my plan all along. I've been secretly coming in at night and putting them all in myself. Yep. yep. <laughs> Beat you to death with a lamp. Yep. <laughs> and I also love that, like, the villain's evil plan really wasn't that evil. Yeah, it's he what just... we live with already. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What'd you think of the cab driver that... Hit... He always like piles around with his like teenage underage, yeah. underage <laughs> girl that drives him because he doesn't have a license. Yeah, I liked her. Yeah, yeah, I liked kind her. of the Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the Chaz. Yeah. Oh God. I, yep. no, I, 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 I did like her. She also helps kind of expand the universe on how this place kind of works is like well i'm underage so i have to wear this bracelet yeah and i can't wear a mask yet and yeah. i can't get like any tickets basically or any strikes on my record right or else i can't wear a mask when i get older right yeah and you're like what the fuck is going on with this world <laughs> yeah <laughs> like it's it's foreign but like still familiar enough it's like yeah that makes sense mm -hmm. okay yeah. i get that um i i liked her honestly and yeah. like she um gets the kind of the shit beat out of her in this <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> what I really liked is that she is really attracted to just being like his Robin, right? Yeah. It's like, hey, I need you to pick me up. It's like, no, fuck you, man. I met McDonald's. You're not going to... I need a getaway driver. I'll be right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And she it. is a bit like the Tim Drake to his Batman because she immediately po picks him out in a flashback yeah. where he's oh, yeah. sitting there in yeah, his yeah. dream coat like spying on people and she's like, hey, I see you. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> she's like, you're a private eye, aren't you? It's like, uh, can you drive me over here? <laughs> sure. Get in. <laughs> Get in, bitch. So on a scale of one to ten, uh -huh. how many eyes would you put on your private? Hmm. That's a good point. I've never thought about it that way. Uh huh. Um, Take a moment. I'm <laughs> giving it eight. I can't. Even I'm giving it eight. <laughs> I really uh quite enjoyed this. A lot of it has to do like the concept altogether of being like this place without internet. I also like too that we're like bewildered. Like, how do they live without the internet? And it's only existed for maybe twenty years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Reliably, yeah. maybe. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. uh, the art also drove this home for mm -hmm. me. Like, this was such a treat to flip through. Yeah. My God. Yeah. And it was a breeze too. Yeah. It was a very quick read. Yeah. Uh, Brian K. Vaughan is not wordy. Which is nice. No, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. when, like we're talking about, he he cares for his artists. He knows when to step back and just let the art do the the yeah, walking thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And that's great. It's like you know, we, you read Alan Moore, and it's amazing, or like a Neil Gaiman thing, and it's great, amazing prose. But like, they don't all have to be that. Like, there's no <laughs> right or wrong, and like you can have a brief story, visual story that is just as powerful yeah, as mm -hmm. a super wordy one. 
I enjoy this book quite a bit. I think this is my third read through of it. Mm. Like I, I don't know why. It's like a guilty pleasure of mine. I, I don't even say guilty pleasure. Like I genuinely just really like this book. It's only ten issues, so you feel guilty. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I I thoroughly enjoy this. I don't know. I I'd give it like nine out of ten. Oh like, my! I love it. I love it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Good stuff. I I enjoyed it. It's not my favorite of any Brian K. Vaughn thing I've read, but everything I've read from him, I loved. Mm -hmm. So it's not like a detraction to this. It's a testament for how much I like his work. Yeah. Uh, I'd give it maybe a 7. 7 okay, out of 10. Fair enough. Man. Solid 7. That's good. Uh, love the art. Love the story and the brevity of it. Uh, maybe I was a little put off by, like, that maybe that he dies at the end. Potentially. Maybe. And I mean, that there isn't a follow-up in the works. Like, if they told me, like, yeah, Private Eye 2, get ready. I'm like, okay, I might move that up to an 8. You know, but mm -hmm. right now, as it stands, as a standalone thing, I'm like, a lot of fun. Love the concept. Would have liked more. I think you there's know? more you could do in this. A lot more. I'm curious how they made off on this. Because I'm sure, like, they don't say, like, oh, it was a huge hit, you know, yeah. or whatever. But, like, was it enough to warrant a sequel? Do they have any ideas for a sequel? BKV and Martine did another book through Panel Syndicate called mm -hmm. Barrier, mm -hmm. which I have not read, but I've got it there on the shelf. And... It must be working, you know, if they did it again. But um, I, I think, guess I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> I think I think it's one of those, kind of what we, we had mentioned about Substack. It's mm -hmm. kind of like a precursor to that, where it's yeah. like them just to a place to flex their muscles on these little short ideas that they've got. Sure. And I'd love for them to expand on, you know, more of private eye but like if that's all we get i'm also fine with that if, if they've yeah. got awesome little ideas that they can just announce through this platform yeah, yeah. man it's been a while since we got anything from brian gave on mm -hmm. he's been yeah. on a, a hiatus from saga for going on like three years now yeah <laughs> and he hasn't done anything else so what is happening He's had a pandemic to write. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My guess is they're just going to fucking dump the end of Saga on us. Oh, really? Mm. Because there's been nothing. There's been nothing. No communication. I don't think Fiona Staples has done anything either. So my guess is they're just like radio silence and boom, here's Saga. Okay. Here's the end of it. But I have no idea. I mean, it's just conjecture mm -hmm. at this point. But like, isn't it weird that we haven't heard anything it is kind He's of weird. He's had no projects. None of them have. And you'd think he'd be coming more out in the limelight now that his show is going to be premiering on FX. Well, maybe that's... He's been maybe wrapped up in that, too. I don't have any yeah, idea. Maybe be. he's a consultant that he's busy with that. Yeah. But, like, what if, like, in the next, I don't know, year or so, like, Saga drops again and he's got, oh, I also have these four other projects that, like... That would be great. My That'd time nice. off, I just had to collect my thoughts. Here's all this shit. Like, enjoy. He's not wasting his time and on I the internet. Will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I also like in the book. Like, if he it's... isn't, God help him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I picked up a severe drug habit. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, no more no more books. <laughs> <laughs> See in hell. BKVRIP. Out. I like it. There's a funny detail in the book. It's like, yeah, once the internet crashed in five years, there was like a spur of dramatic science <laughs> increases or whatever. Because yeah. nobody's fucking around watching cat videos on the internet <laughs> yeah. or whatever it is. I also love that. Oh, ain't the truth. Yeah. God, should we cut to a clip of those cats banging that you <laughs> Probably sent Probably should. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, has anybody out there read Private Eye? If you have, let us know in the comments. You can get it for a song. You can go onto that panel syndicate. Buy it for a dollar. Buy it for a dollar. That's mm -hmm. right. You can go back in and be like, I really liked it. I'll buy it again for 20 Support, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> support the cause. Whatever you want to do. That's right. Um, if you want to join us, 
Uh, as a lovely patron, you can. Here is a list of lovely patrons that already have. Oh, my but God. With God bless every one of them. Your oh, yeah. contributions, you get access to a bunch of premium content as well as access to our Discord, mm -hmm. uh, where you can uh, chat with us all throughout the I day. might Photoshop you a Shrek if you give me a picture. Imperial oh. Shreks is a thing, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone would prefer you didn't. <laughs> I'd prefer if I didn't have to. <laughs> all right. It is haunting. <laughs> uh, but uh, that's a thing we can all do. But... Until next time, where we talk more BKB? Oh my god, you bet we are. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I, I, I had to rebuffer for a moment there. <laughs> Internet was slow. <laughs> I have been Troy to the Max Extreme. Dinosaur Neil. And Ghost Hunter Dave. And we've been Imperious Rex. We'll talk to you next time. Bye bye. We did it. We did a show.